Hello, I'm Mikey Campling and welcome to another short, dark story. This one's called A Face at the Window. This should be the best part of the school day for Rachel. Everyone else has gone home. She has the place to herself. She has time to think. But as she walks through the empty, echoing corridors, she can't relax can't enjoy the moment. Why? Has she heard something out of the ordinary? Has she seen something? Yes. That's it. Something glimpsed from the corner of her eye has caught her attention. She stands alone in the echoing corridor and turns slowly, scanning every closed door, every window. There! At the window, the one that looks out onto the sports field, something flickering across the glass. A face. Rachel stalks toward the window, her eyes narrowed, her lips pursed tight. It'll be kids, stupid little kids messing about, trespassing on school property when they've no business to be there. How dare they? This is her time, her personal space. She's at the window now, ready to pummel on the glass, ready to give them a scare. But, no, there's no one there. She leans against the cold glass and looks to the left, the right. No, no one. I must have imagined it, she mutters. She steps back and stares at the window, seeing only her own face mirrored by the glass. Perhaps that had been the cause, a trick of the light that had made her reflection flit across the pane as she'd walked by. She wrinkles her nose. Ridiculous. Stupid. Jumping at shadows. Rachel runs a hand through her hair and sighs. Coffee, she says. She checks her watch. She's got plenty of time and there's a kettle in the staff room. She nods to herself and sets off along the corridor. Yes, a nice cup of coffee will revive her. And then she must get on. After all, she has a lot to do this evening. She picks up her pace, her footsteps ringing out against the polished wood flooring. Rachel smiles as she barges through the door into the staff room. And freezes, her right hand still on the door handle. This time, there's no mistake. The face beyond the window is pale and clear and it certainly does not belong to a mischievous young child. The man stares at Rachel, looks her in the eye. Her sudden entrance has startled him but he is not afraid. A grim smile plays across his lips. He steps back from the window and Rachel takes in the dark uniform, the padded waistcoat bristling with pockets. Police. He puts his hand to the radio attached to his waistcoat and Rachel runs. The staff room door slams shut behind her. How did they know what had given her away? As she pounds down the corridor, she fumbles in her pocket. She's got to get rid of the evidence. She throws the cigarette lighter down as she runs. A shame. It was her favourite. Just keep running, she tells herself. There, just ahead, the corridor meets another. If she turns left, she'll head into the reception area, and beyond that, there's the main entrance. The thought of bursting out with the double doors is almost too tempting. Almost. But they'd have that entrance covered. Of course they would. But if she turns right, there's a fire exit at the end of the corridor. All she'll have to do is slam the locking bar upwards and she'll be free. Sure, it will set off the fire alarm, but so what? Rachel hurtles around the for all she is worth. Her breath rasps in her throat, her heart pounding, her blood singing in her ears. Behind her, a volley of shouted commands boom and roll along the corridor. They're getting closer, their heavy boots thudding furiously against the wooden floor. There must be scores of them, an angry of... <sighs> there must be scores of them, an army of angry policemen. But Rachel smiles. 
The fire door is almost within her reach. A few more strides and she'll be gone. She skids to a halt and grasps the locking bar with both hands. But before she can push it, a shadow falls over her. She looks up. And there, on the other side of the fire door's reinforced glass, is the policeman, a grin of triumph on his face. Rachel's shoulders slump. She turns her back on the door, leans against it, and as she gasps for breath, she faces her pursuers. There are only two of them, but even so, it's all over. For tonight. But there will be other nights, and although she's lost her favourite lighter, she has plenty more at home. She allows herself a small smile. Petrol, she thinks. Next time, I'll bring petrol. I well, hope you enjoyed that story. I did make one little blunder there, but these uh, I do these as live rather than uh, performed as live rather than edited. So well, that was just like if you were in the room with me reading it to you, I hope. Um, and people make mistakes. So uh, me too. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to see that story and loads more like it, head over to mikeycampling.com and you'll see the um, tag in the menu labelled uh, free stories. Uh, hit that and you'll see them all listed there. If you would like to get that story and a whole bunch of others, uh, there's quite a collection of them. I'm putting a collection together called A Dark Assortment. There's a range in length and in, in content. They're, they've all got some kind of twist in the tail or dark nature to them. And you can get your name down to get an advanced reader copy, totally free. I'll send it out to you as soon as it's, uh, as soon as, as it's in a fit state to do so. And the link to that, I've done a special link. So it's mikeycampling.com forward slash free stories and in this case free stories is all one word and that will take you right there and if you sign up there and get on the list I'll make sure that you get a free copy of that book it will be available in uh, the usual EPUB and Mobi formats um, so it should fit whatever reader you've got and you'll be able to download that and have a read and if you enjoy it you know you can feed back to me um, or if you don't you can let me know and uh, maybe even when it comes out I'll just give you a, it's not a big mailing thing, I'll give you a shout when it's going to be launched so that if you feel like giving it a review, that give it a boost and really help me out, that would be fantastic because I can't tell you how much um, reviews mean, really fantastic. Um, so I'll also be putting the audio from this up if you'd rather listen to this rather than uh, sit and look at me reading stuff, um, then that'll be there as an MP3 download if to listen to for everybody but for newsletter subscribers they get to uh, download them all really easily I, I send them out a link and they can get them all from there so check it out say hi leave comments on youtube comment on the blog um say hi on twitter at mikey campling or you can find me on facebook by looking for mikey campling author you'll find up my page from there so um i will leave it at that for today Thank you very much for watching and listening. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye.